twang 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 Sanjin Chisim Cheu, Garongan Zimba, Koda Woda, No Zuzu, Gasungu, Rumpi, Zomba, LBT, I am the love. Okay, so. Cool. So we just write it back and forth. Yeah, yeah we just write it back and forth. Um, we are my. I am. I am my. So we can do some role playing or something. Okay. Cool. Mm. Let's get it right. Let's get the writing in. Let's go get some sun. Outdoors. Fresh outdoors. <laughs> it's just a source of freedom. Both for me and the people I speak for through my music. Yeah. Uh, it's also a sense of um, uh, a source of representation. You know, representing them and representing myself as well through my music. Okay. I wanted to create a band that was going to, you know, a band that would play music that when you listen to it, it tells you something about Malawi. Well, where we are, it's my garden. And this is the, how we do harvesting. So, as you can see there, the people are harvesting the maize. Free faces from frowns. Free future from foreign funds. 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 Freeze greed governance. <laughs> greed governs. Global greed globalizes. Good God, greed governs. <laughs> This size of maize, this is just showing you that no fertilizer inside. If you can have more fertilizer, enough fertilizer, then you can produce this kind of maize.
you are looking on this because the government has they just give a, a subsidy fertilizer, just a little. But had it been the government had not did this, that means nothing we can get from the field. As Malawi, we, we, we get a lot of money from IMF and, and World Bank. That money coming is, a, is attached to conditions. There are certain things that we need to do. So pretty much sometimes that money is used as bait. When the current administration launched the fertilizer subsidy program, these institutions cried foul. They said, no, 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 this is not a good thing. They made a lot of noise about it. But what, in turn, what that program has done has enabled a lot of Malawians uh, to grow enough food. No first aid for she's a third citizen in a third world state. No band-aid, so they cover his wound with red tape, reducing her to nothing but a nameless and faceless figure on page 8, talking about how much of her poverty they alleviate. For our poverty is their job security, and this virus keeps the money flowing swiftly, fattening pockets already loaded with USDs, payments for detached guesswork from an office in D.C., deciding what's best and what debts to give next to which better states in exchange to experiment. Dangling carrots in our faces and we do do the donkey work. In a dog-eat-dog -dog world, trust me, the donkey will survive. Back in the day, people would provide um, Bibles and rifles, okay? And that was new, you know? But then, right now, everything is, is advanced. We've got cars, we've got cities and everything. So people, they look at other foreign governments, look at what the country doesn't have. And here, it's infrastructure. And we're standing in front of the parliament building. So the Chinese government's been funding that. They put like $40 million into it, I think. So I heard. It's come up real fast. If you ask me, it's uh, really a lot of money that has been put in, but we don't know what we've given in exchange for it. That's always what happens here, where foreign governments come in, put in money, but you don't really know what you're giving in exchange. I want to see a day when I run my old country. I mean, a day when the money ain't running from me. I mean, a day. A day when we build our own buildings. Maximum protection for fulfillment. Word. Okay. Okay, let's go. I want to see how it goes. Mm -hmm. Too much greed and the people are fed I need more leaders, we need more schemers Here's the penicillin for your mental fever The mechanism of success, we the lever Exit the nightmare, enter the dreamer Yeah, 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 yeah. You just up my the volume, Biggie? Yeah, cool Yeah <laughs>
During the day, I do farming. I'm also a guard, employed by a certain company like G4S Group 4 Securico. Where I'm working, it's like the, that, the owner of that house has hired me from a company like G4S, I said. Uh, so you see that the client, that client, the owner of the house, pays money to the company amounting to 25,000 kwacha a month. But I do receive 4,000 kwacha. I should share it to prepare to buy food, the same 4,000 to take care of my family, the same 4,000 to look on my family. They are making profit. We are just making profit for them. I mean, it's always been that way. The mere fact of colonialism was, was that, was to extract as much as countries would from Africa. And after, after colonialism, you know, it's still going on masked as other things. You know, there's still unfair trade. The, the, the amount of access that Africa has to, 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 to the world trade markets is, it's, it's, it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. Um, and I think the question is, is it in the best interest of developed countries for Africa to truly develop? What would happen? Would there be a shift in power? Who are his generation? Who do they serve? Whose was the first civilization? Who really discovered the lake? Who told him, who claimed he did, what it was called? Who was evangelized? Whose culture was demonized? Who was later colonized? Who needs to know who better? Who needs to know what was given by his maker? Whose mother's land holds riches greater? Who?